The big question is, what is going on in the Hudson County and Northern New Jersey real estate market? Are we slowing down? Is inventory still going to be an issue? How are prices looking? What are interest rates doing? These are all questions that I have answers to in the latest market update here. The average price point that we see here and we take a, like a small sample size in Hudson County, we're seeing appreciation from 2020, uh, great appreciation, upwards of 15% per city, right? Even if we take a look at last year compared to this year, we're seeing towns like Union City and Hoboken, six and 9% average sale price uh, appreciation in the market. Inventory. When we take a look at these four major cities, we can see a, a distinct trend here, right? From 2020, start of the pandemic, we see people did not have their properties on the market, right? People were trying to figure out what was going on. All of the buyers dropped off the face of the map. Not many buyers were out, right? People were trying to figure out what was going on. We had the lockdown and the pandemic at its height. So this time we saw very low inventory, very low sale numbers as well. Um, and then flash forward a year after that, I mean, all that pent up demand, right? And the country reopening and things, you know, starting to normalize a little bit. You saw a big increase in inventory uh, with listings and the number of homes for sale. At that moment, you know, then we saw a drop, right? We saw from 2021 to present day, a huge drop in the number of homes for sale. Just for example, inventory wise, in Hoboken, we're down 47% from last year. That is crazy. Jersey City, 25%. Union City, 35%. Weehawken, down 29%. Number of homes sold. Now, when we look at the number of homes sold chart compared to the inventory chart, it looks pretty similar, right? Because the trend is, obviously, if we have a low inventory in certain years, we're gonna have a lower number of sales. We have higher inventory, we're gonna have higher sales. So you could take a look, look here, see the number of home sales in 21 peaked, and then from 21 downward, we have a sliding scale downward in the number of homes sold, uh, given the limited inventory levels that we do have. Northern New Jersey suburbs. When we take a look at the broad spectrum of 10 different counties in this area, we're gonna be looking at some key statistics. One is the list price to sale price ratios. Uh, most of these counties were anywhere from 4% over asking price to 7% over asking price average. When we take a look at new inventory from last year, we are down as a low of 35% in some counties, upwards of 42% in new listings this last month versus 2022. Uh, and then furthermore, um, the inventory of new homes for sale, just the total amount of inventory, we're even down greater, anywhere from 40 to over 56% in some counties of number of homes available for sale. That tells you that the inventory in the suburbs is uh, super low. It's going to continue. You're going to see these bidding wars for the foreseeable future. And the question is, what happens when rates go down? I mean, what do you think is going to happen to the market then if properties right now in 7% interest rate market are selling for 4 to 7% over asking price? What do you think is going to happen when the interest rates drop to 5, 5.5% 5 .5 next year? So what does this mean for you as a buyer and seller in both Hudson County and the greater northern New Jersey area? Reach out to my team today. We have experience in both markets helping you get the best possible service and accomplish all of your real estate goals.